They were doing yard work outside. We'll see if they stopped. <laughs> I've been back from Massachusetts and I had such a wonderful time. Massachusetts was the number one place, number one state that I wanted to visit, uh, you know, here in America. I mean, I've been to so many states, but I've always wanted to visit Massachusetts and I wanted to go to Boston, mostly Salem. Salem! I loved it so, so much. Oh, oh, my jewelry is getting caught on itself. So this is going to be my April book haul. I have some library books here as well. That was very unexpected. I did not expect to get any library books, but I did. And I also got a lot of books here that I cannot wait to show you. So let's get started. I'm gonna go ahead and start with the library books. There's only about four. So the first book that I got from the library was Labyrinth Lost by Zoreda Cordova. This is about uh, Mexican or Spanish witches. And I think that was the big thing about it that I really uh, liked. And I haven't read it yet, but I cannot wait to read this because I'm so fascinated with uh, witchcraft in different cultures. This book is about a girl who uh, comes from a line of uh, brujas, which are uh, Spanish witches, and she hates her power and so um, she decides to make a spell to get rid of her powers and it ends up backfiring and sends uh, her family, her family just kind of disappears, so she has to go and retrieve them. And that's pretty much all I know about this book. I, it, I love the cover and I just really cannot wait to read this. The next book that I got from the library was Stranger Than Fan Fiction by Chris Colfer. I think Chris Colfer was on Glee. I wouldn't know. I've never watched it, nor do I ever intend to. But I really liked this, the title of this book. That was what really drew me to it. Apparently it's about this group of teenagers who uh, invite their favorite actor from their favorite show on a road trip and it was kind of a joke but then the actor says sure so he goes on a cross-country road trip with them and he kind of goes over the uh the issues of uh teen fame and all of that and being famous and i think that sounds really interesting and really cool so i can't wait to give this a read the next book that i got from the library is iron cast by destiny soraya soraya I don't know. I'm sorry if I pronounced it incorrectly. But this is also about witches. <laughs> um, I don't know much about it except that it's kind of a historical fiction. There's my receipt. And it's it takes place in 1919 and uh, it's about immigrants in America during that time period and it's also about witches. So I love reading about different perspectives and I like reading historical fiction and I like reading about witches. And I also am extremely attracted to this cover. It's really, really cool and I can't wait to read it. The next book that I got from the library is Nevernight Book One by Jay Kristoff. I actually don't know what this book is about. I actually cannot tell you what it's about. I was extremely attracted to the cover and that's why I got it. Uh, I think this book was on a recommended list of things to read if you really enjoyed Harry Potter. So why not? Now I'm going to go into the books that I bought this month and I'm, oh, I love these books. I'm so excited. So the first book that I got was The Historian by Elizabeth Kostova. I've never actually finished this book. This is one of my absolute favorite books of all time and I've never finished it. I always get halfway through and then for some outside reason, I stop. It has nothing to do with the book. It has everything to do with life and and me. And I don't know why I never finish it. I want to though. And so I got this copy in the hopes of finishing it because this is actually a copy that I can actually just sit down with and read and not have to worry about it getting too ruined. I don't like the mass market part paperback. I I'm tired of checking it out from the library and having a time limit on it. So I got this book so I can finally sit down and finish it. I'm so excited to finish it. The uh, The material is so clever and it's so well put together and I love the writing style and I love the characters. It is gorgeous and the history of it 
is so well researched. Um, definitely one of my favorite books of all time, even though I've never finished it. But if you like vampires and historical fiction put together and put together well, this is definitely for you. So the next two books that I'm actually so excited to say that I finally have, and that is A Court of Thorns and Roses. I just went ahead and bought it right after I read it. Oh, finally. I finally own my own copy of this book. It's so pretty and I'm just, just so stoked. So stoked to finally own this. And of course, I had to buy it with A Court of Mist and Fury, which I'm already reading. This book is so massive. This is huge. Like, this isn't a book. It's a mini fridge. It's, it's a weapon. Like, you keep this on your bedside table and then if you know, an intruder or a murderer comes into your house, you can just throw this at them and it would do some serious damage. I have, of course, already started it and I'm loving it so far. I'm like a little bit over 50 pages in and I'm just, <sighs> I'm really hoping I can finish this before the third book comes out on May 2nd. I'm pretty sure I will given how quickly I tend to read and how much I just love these books. So <sighs> finally, I own it. Yes! So the next three books I actually got in Salem, in Massachusetts, and I'm really happy about them. And surprise, surprise, they're all about witches. <laughs> the first book that I got there was The Girl Who Drank the Moon by Kelly Barnhill. And this is a fantasy middle grade YA book um, about witches, and all I know about it is that there's this witch who lives in the woods that people fear, but she's actually a really good witch, and she uses her magic for good, and she fed this baby, um, moonlight instead of starlight, and because of that, this child now has incredible power, so the witch decides to, uh, raise the child for her own, but the villagers are still afraid and they decide to go after the witch and that's all I know about it. And I'm so excited to read this because it has such a beautiful cover and it's about witches and it's fantasy and I've not heard about anything about this book, any reviews, but um, I have high expectations for it. I think I'll really like it. The next book that I got from Salem is Conversion by Katherine Howe. If you know anything about me, I love Katherine Howe. I love all of her books so far. I've read two of them. I own two of them so far, and now I own three. I have the Physic Book of Deliverance Dane and A House of Velvet and Glass, and both of those were just so fantastic. And I didn't know she came out with this. I probably did, but I just didn't seem interested at the time, or I didn't really know what it was about. This book takes place in a high school at Danvers, Massachusetts. If you don't know already, Danvers was at one point Salem Village where all of the Salem Witch Trials took place. Not Salem, Massachusetts. That's where they were all hung. But um, it takes place in Danvers, Massachusetts and apparently all these teenagers are having like these weird convulsions and these fits and it's all kind of like a replay of what was happening with with the Salem Witch Trials in the 1690s. So I'm really interested to read this. I've loved everything Katherine Howe has written so far, so I'm so excited to read this and finally own it. And I think it was extremely appropriate that I got it at Salem, Massachusetts at a bookstore. If you want to know, the bookstore that I went to was Wicked Good Books. It, it's a really wonderful, lovely bookstore. They have used and new books, um, and they especially have a really good selection of uh, local interest titles. So a lot of books about witches and a lot of books about the Salem Witch Trials. The last book that I got in Salem at Wicked Good Books is The Witch in Every Woman, Reawakening the Magical Nature of the Feminine to Heal, Protect, Create, and Empower. That is one heck of a title, and it is by Lori Cabot. If you don't know already, Lori Cabot is the official witch of Salem. She is known for uh, a lot of her books and a lot of her work in um, helping a lot of people in America and around the world understand what witchcraft is and understand what Wicca and paganism really stand for to, in today's society. 
um, in a modern society. And this was not just like a tourist buy. I really need to stress that it wasn't a tourist buy. I know a lot of people who go to Salem go for like the witchcraft and the witch trials and all of that. And they buy like all these stuff from these witch shops, you know, just you know, just to have when they don't really understand what they do and what they're used for. This was not a tourist buy. This was a personal interest buy and I have been studying a lot of this for several years now and I have a really deep understanding of it and it's also for kind of personal uses as well. I feel good admitting that. But this is a book that I've kind of had on my reading list for a while. I really respect Lori Cabot. I love watching her YouTube videos. And uh, this is something that, it's a t this is a topic also that I've been really wanting to get into this year. I really want to go deeper inside my inner feminine and work with my inner goddess and become the woman that I know I'm supposed to be. So I'm excited to work with this because there's a little witch in everyone. That's from Practical Magic. Now, that was supposed to be the end of my book haul because I do set budgets for myself, but um, it's kind of hard to uphold them because there's just so many books and I want to read all of them. There's still this, there's still this sticker on it. I want to take it off because it makes it look ugly. Get off, 20% off sticker. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> The book that I got is Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell. This is pink. It's pink and it's an exclusive collector's edition. And it has this cool, it's bigger and, and it has a pink silk bookmark. And, and it also has fan art on the inside. Look at that. That is beautiful. I love it. It's really cool. And, <laughs> and look, look what it looks like naked. That's beautiful. I love that so much. And not to mention, there's a Q&A in the back with Rainbow Rowell and, and, there is a little bit of the book, Carry On. There's a little sneak peek. And I haven't read Carry On yet. I'm actually going to be buying the paperback edition that comes out next month. I will be buying that because I really like the cover. So I will be buying that. And I just, I saw this at Target and it was 20% off. And I just... I couldn't help myself. It's so pretty and I just, I love this book so much. It's so relatable. So I'm kind of sorry about buying a book when I know I wasn't supposed to. Maybe I could take it out of next month's books, but probably not. When you think you're done buying books for the month and then it turns out it's National Independent Bookstore Day, yay! But first, do you like my new haircut? It's very, very cute. Oh yeah. I'm just so hot now, you can't take it. So it is National Independent Bookstore Day and since I just had to. I just had to, I had to get more books. So I decided to go to an independent used bookstore to see what I could find and just see what kind of books that I could get and how much money I could save. So the first book that I got was The Vampire Diaries by L.J. Smith and this is The Awakening and The Struggle. And no, like I got this because I really like the show. I'm still like stuck in season six because let's face it, it's not as great as seasons one through five because, you know, once Klaus left, what's the point, right? But I'm gonna finish it eventually and I just kind of thought, why not read the books? It was, this was like 50 cents. I mean, come on, it was 50 cents and it's in really, really good condition, so. I got it so I could read it. The next book that I got was Strange Sweet Song by Addie Rule, and I've never heard of this before and I just kind of thought it sounded really interesting. It takes place at like a music school and there's this girl who is going to be an understudy for the lead in an opera written by someone who used to go to the school and he, it was inspired by this enchanted forest on near the near the school. So. That's all I know about it, and I thought it sounded really interesting because I like books about music and opera, so 
why not? The next book that I got was Mrs. Poe by, who is this by? Lynn Collin. I got this book because I've been eyeing it for a very, very long time and it was a couple of dollars, so uh, why not? And I really also love anything to do with Edgar Allan Poe, as you've probably been able to tell so far. Um, so I thought this sounded really, really interesting and I love the cover as well. And the last book that I got was Ink Death by Cornelia F Funker? I don't, I don't know, she's German. I don't know. <laughs> I'm sorry if I mispronounced it, that's how I'm going to pronounce it from now on. But this is the third and final book in the Inkheart series. I still have the first two books downstairs and I actually already have a copy of Ink Death, but it's in paperback and this is the same hardcover format as my Inkheart and Ink Spell books. So I wanted to kind of complete the trilogy with the same format because it's a huge pet peeve of mine but I just went ahead and got it because I haven't read this yet and I really love Ink Heart and Ink Spell. I just haven't read this yet. I've heard mixed reviews that it's not as good as the first book, but I'm so willing to like reread Ink Heart and Ink Spell just to get to this. Um, this is a series that I grew up adoring. I've been reading it since I was like 11 and 12, so um, it's been a while. It's been a long, long time since I've, since I've, uh, I've read those books and have not gotten to the third book. So that was an unexpected turn. I bought all four of those books for like a little over 10 bucks. I mean, I love used bookstores, especially if the books are still in incredible condition. So that's it for this <laughs> April book haul. I got quite a bit of books. I can't tell you how many I got because I'm filming this like a week after I originally filmed the first stuff, but uh, I hope you all have a wonderful day. Please subscribe below, like this, comment on it, and uh, I'll be giving some more stuff to you guys soon. I'm going to have a really, really fun time filming these next couple of videos. I've got two reviews coming out for you extremely soon, and I'm so excited to be filming them. So I hope you all have a wonderful day. Uh, subscribe, comment, like the video, and uh, I will see you all next time. See ya! Thank you.